Now, some people find it confusing uh, to use formatting when you've got nav, ul, ul, li, all that business. They would prefer to just use IDs. So we're going to basically do the same thing, uh, creating a vertical menu, uh, but we're going to use IDs instead of using uh, the tags. So we are going to copy the Acme vertical folder and we're going to change the name of our copy to Acme vertical ID. Okay, and then we're going to make some modifications to the CSS and we also have to make a couple modifications to the HTML. So I'm going to lesson 10. I'm going to right click and copy. Right click and paste. And I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it Acme Vertical ID. And I'm going to go over. And now I'm going to close up Acme Vertical because we're done with that one. And we're going to be modifying Acme Vertical ID. So let's go ahead and open up the CSS and what we are going to be changing. So we're going to keep nav A. We're basically going to get rid of all of the rest of this good stuff because we're going to be using IDs instead. So I'm going to zap all of that. I am going to keep section and section A link. And as I said, nav A, I'm also keeping. And let's see, make sure all the other settings are correct. I believe they are. So we are going to be using an ID of menu. And we will still have an unordered list. And so we'll set the margin to 0px and padding to 0px. And then we're still going to have the lines with the bullets inside the list. So we're still going to have to do menu li. And for those lines, we're going to do list style type is none. And we'll put that border on the bottom. Same border that we had before, solid black to pixel. And then as far as the links go, we're still going to do basically the same color schemes that we had before. Okay, so the main difference here is that instead of doing, you know, uh, nav, ul, li, all that business, we're just going to use the ID of menu instead. So menu, link, menu visited, menu hover, menu active. And you'll notice it's the exact same CSS styling. Okay, we're just using the ID instead of nav, ul, li, all that stuff. Uh, for the submenu, we're going to do something similar. This even gets better because if you remember before, to access the submenu, we had to do nav, ul, ul, li. And if we use an ID, it's just simply submenu li. Okay, so for the lines in the submenu, we want the text indented 20 pixels. Okay, and then for the linking, again, it's just submenu. We don't have to do nav, ul, ul, li. <laughs> All we have to do is enter our ID. 
Okay, and we're going to do the the same styling that we had before. Okay, so that is our CSS. Let's save it. Now, because we're using IDs, the HTML files did not have IDs before. So we're going to open those. And you're not going to notice any changes until I start changing the HTML. So I'm going to open home. We'll pull this over and we'll kind of resize it. But like I said, until we start changing the uh, HTML and applying those IDs, you're not going to notice any change. All right, so let's open home. So there's quite a few pages that need this exact same modification. Uh, this is a very simple one. In the UL tag, all we have to do is put ID equals menu. And because I'm kind of a lazy typist, I'm going to copy this. And let me save. And we'll reload. And now you can see that that has been applied. So I've copied this because I need to put this in all of the pages that have a single menu. So that would be about us, mission, history, and contact us. So looking through my pages, here's contact. So I need to put it in there. And I'm going to control S and save. History. Control S and save. I already put it in a home. And let me see. So I've got it in about us. I don't think I put it in mission. I'm going to save it. So now it's in mission. I put it in history. I put it in contact us. And I need to fix up executive. So let's go into executive. So executive is a little different because executive has a sub menu. So up here, I'm still going to paste in, whoop. I think I lost my uh, ID copy, but I'll just type it in. All right, so I still want my ID equals menu up there. And then for the sub menu down here, I will put ID equals sub menu. And let me fix that up here. Okay, we'll save it and let's reload. All right, so now we have our ma main menu and sub menu. Let me click on CEO. That needs to be adjusted. Okay, and you'll notice that we've got the two ULs here. So the top one, it's ID equals menu. And the second one, which is our sub menu, is ID equals sub menu. And we'll do the same thing. Let me save this. Same thing for CFO. I'm going to save it. So now if I reload this one, that should be good. CEO should be good. CFO should be good. I still have to do COO and other minions. And where's my minions? Let me save. Now, a lot of people prefer this method using IDs uh, because they don't have to do um, all of the element coding. Okay, and the end result is pretty much the same. Okay, so if yours looks good and you have applied it to all of your pages, 
then you can go ahead and close.